welcome back to my channel for another speed build. My name's Silver and I have a honeycomb house for you today. So naturally, I love doing this one because it's bee themed. <laughs> I definitely built this house with uh, it in mind that I wanted to actually live here. And I showed it to my boyfriend and he was like, yeah, I'd like to live here too. So um, now I have to build this house in real life. So you know, <laughs> let's get on that. Um, I was just really inspired by Seasons with, they have a lot of honeycomb themed, uh, uh, like, uh, furniture, like, there's, uh, like, honeycomb pillowed things, it, like, has the hexagon, uh, patterns, um, <laughs> you'll, you'll see later, <laughs> and of course the roof tiling as well, we get in that honeycomb kind of pattern, and, uh, I had a bit of fun with the roof, I mean, it's very similar to what I build in these, in this kind of, uh, home, which is in Oasis Springs, and that's just typically how I build. I did have a little trouble with the shape of the house. I wasn't, like, super set on it. I kind of had a rough idea of what I wanted to do, and I do end up changing it in the very, very end. Um, but I did that off camera. I had to change this little bit here with the roof along the side. You'll see later I make it into a half wall and put some hedges and stuff like that. But I had to change it because... The, uh, when I went to playtest this, and yes, it is playtested, when I went to playtest it, uh, the sim couldn't get in the bed or uh, go around the bed, so they would go down the stairs and then go inside and go up the stairs that's inside, because there, there's stairs inside too, don't worry. <laughs> um, and uh, so I moved the bed through the wall, and then I covered it with hedges that were a bit higher, and I was trying to do something fun with these get famous uh, wall thingies, but or dividers, room dividers, because, you know, they're honeycomb patterned, but they weren't tall enough, <laughs> and I'm so sad. <laughs> That's fine. We get this instead, and I do put it on a foundation and get it high up, and it's like a little carport that you would have, and I want to say this house is mid-century, um, but it's kind of not. I mean, I don't think it's I, I just don't think it has a particular style. It's not really modern. It's not really entirely mid-century it's not really old it's not really new i mix a bunch of colors and like i said i'd like to live here so we get like whites dark brown and orange the color is very orange we changed like the outline here to a white in a little bit um because i wasn't happy with it but like overall it's really orange <laughs> but i really dig it I, oh, here's where I'm changing it into a half wall uh, because I wanted a feature and I was originally going to put that as like a tiny little balcony so I do put doors there but I, I changed that in the end because it, it just wasn't working for me and uh, hopefully soon I'm pretty sure I change it the color scheme to white because yeah I was trying to do something with the with the like uh, what do you call it is it, this isn't really a pergola is it because it's it's a carport it just has a fancy roof. <laughs> I mean, it's not particularly going to protect you from the rain, but it's not going to hinder you either, I think. Um, not that it really rains a lot in Oasis Springs, um, but I love building in this section of Oasis Springs, like with the really bright grass and the light colors. Like, I love the lighting in Oasis Springs because it's just so bright, and that's very much a me thing. And uh, if you don't know... <laughs> I'm a huge bee lover. I don't like wasps, <laughs> but I do love bees, especially bumblebees. They are my absolute favorite bees, and then followed closely by honeybees. Yes, I have a ranking system. <laughs> and um, if you guys don't know, I have a Discord, and I do Twitch as well. And uh, we've got honeys and busy bees, and uh, you know, you could say that I, I've been a busy bee making this app, but I'm tss, whatever. Um, <laughs> I'm so sorry. Um, but yeah, I really love bees and, and uh, plants. Plants are also my thing. So basically, it's bees, teas, and plants, and sims. And <laughs> sims offers all of these things, and therefore, it's my favorite thing ever. <laughs> so um, we do get a lot of, like, gardening in here. Like, a lot of gardening. A lot. And I love it. I love it a lot. <laughs> I want to move so I have a big backyard and I can garden all I want because I love gardening and I love plants 
and I love bees and I would keep bees if I could. Honestly, really would. Um, <laughs> and then I also did this cool thing. I've had this idea for a really long time. I just have never done it. I made like these little raised platforms where uh, plants will be. Um, I do change it a little bit and I change the positions of where they're at because I wanted to add a fence in here and I couldn't with the platform because the fence would cut off. Um, but I've had this idea for like ever and I just really wanted to do it and I really like how it turned out. It made it a little bit interesting I think. Of course it made landscaping a little bit more difficult but that's okay because we love landscaping here. Um, <laughs> and therefore no problem. Uh, but like I said, we, like we put trees in here and uh, other plants and I just really like building an Oasis Springs as well because of the the way the plants are. You have also like the desert plants, but you have normal plants as well. It's not just desert. Like it's hot, you know? Um, the only problem with doing like the planter boxes that way, I call them planter boxes, the homemade planter boxes. The only real problem with doing them that way is I had to use a uh, floor tile to get the to get the grass on top of there, which um, kind of sucks because although like I've said this before almost every time I build in this section, I think it's very fake and it's intentionally fake because it's like I don't think it's real grass in the first place because real grass isn't that <laughs> green. <laughs> especially in a desert and maybe it is real grass but I think it's very artificially cared for so like it's not just left like somebody comes and waters this grass like crazy I don't think there's any way that in a kind of really hot climate where heat waves are pretty much constant it would make sense to have like bright green healthy grass it doesn't make sense so to me it's fake it may be not fake fake as in like it's not real but fake as in like it's it's not realistic in that you could just leave it. You couldn't. It would have to be maintained. And therefore, um, with the weathers and stuff like that, of course, like the grass that you paint on the ground, like the um, floor tiles, they don't change with the seasons, so it just stays that bright green. And I think in Oasis Springs, it doesn't matter that much, so I went ahead and did that. But like, if you were to do that in other worlds, I don't think it would work. And I think that was one of the main reasons why I built in Oasis Springs, but also because it's my favorite world besides Sulani. I don't know. Is it my favorite world? Yeah, I think so. Um, <laughs> but like I said, we get a lot. These are the couches I mean with the honeycombs. I don't think, I don't know if they're actually honeycombs, but I'm going to say they are and it's my story and I'll tell it the way I want to. <laughs> But we get a lot of planters, and if you saw, I put a bunch of bee boxes, and uh, I put three of them, and uh, I had a lot of fun with it. I was trying to put this off, like, kilter, but then the rug wasn't matching up, and it was really bothering me, and I am particular enough that it actually really bothered me, <laughs> so so uh, I put it normally. And um, in the end, we get a bunch of flowers on the table, which I kind of thought was fun. Um, it's different. I haven't done that before. And uh, I know I've said this before, normally I do not build with uh, bathrooms not having a sink in them because I think it's not very hygienic, but that's not to say it's realistic. Some houses maybe don't have sinks in bathrooms. I know they don't. <laughs> it's a very common theme here in the Netherlands, it seems, um, which is fine. I don't like it. It doesn't mean it doesn't happen, so it's unrealistic to expect it. Plus, the house was really small and a really weird shape, so... I wanted to make sure I was able to utilize the space to the best of my ability, so I made it a uh, very, very tiny bathroom that just has a shower and a toilet. Now, you could get two sims to live in here, and I put a litter box. I don't know if the cat can actually reach the litter box, but I did put a litter box because I have cats, and I love cats, and um, this is my house. <laughs> it's mine. <laughs> No, but really, if I could live in this house, I really very much would. I'm not a person who needs a lot of space. I, I really just don't. It's not a necessity for me. I just like privacy. And if it's just my boyfriend and myself, that's fine. Because, you know, I consider him to be a part of my family. And by virtue, you know, I don't feel like he invades my privacy in any way, shape, or form. Just, actually, he's the only person I've ever been comfortable living with, so... You know, I don't mind. <laughs> and 
And of course we use a lot of seasons, so I had to get the orange bricked season uh, shower to match the rest of the house. So like I said, I put a cat, cat litter thing in here and I figured a sim couldn't reach it, so I got the one that uh, cleaned itself. And look, I had trouble with the counters and the colors in here. Originally I was gonna do like a white and orange thing, but because like, you know, the, the, uh, the windows are white, but then I was looking at it and I was like, I don't like this. <laughs> Especially since we get the uh, Get Famous uh, table or chairs and they're orange and like a dark brown and I liked the dark brown a lot more for my personal style so we end up going with a dark brown and uh, orange theme and then the accent colors are white from the from the you know doors and windows. It doesn't have to match perfectly. I don't know why I try to match everything perfectly. But look, I tried, okay? And I tried a couple of different versions of the orange one but it just... It just wasn't happening. I think i go back and change it again. Also, those windows go away. The really big ones upstairs, they go away. I changed them into another one of that uh, Get Famous windows because, like I said, it wasn't working and I had to shove the bed through the wall. <laughs> and um, also, The Sims, because I had to shove the bed through the wall, couldn't get into the bed. So I had to move the uh, end tables into the wall as well. Um, I really liked the way the end tables look, so I kept it, and you know what? I didn't mind that it was going through the wall a little bit. I think it worked okay. And I got candles and a nice lamp because I personally love candles. I have like a huge stack of scented candles sitting on my desk right now. <laughs> we went shopping yesterday. I wanted to just get one small like little packet of candles, like the uh, apple cinnamon ones, because I like burning the apple cinnamon in... Um, fall and winter because it just, I don't know, smells like Christmas. Um, <laughs> and uh, also I like, I like working with scents. It helps motivate me. I don't know why. Um, it just does. Like I associate the smell of vanilla with studying because I always burn vanilla candles when I'm studying and it just gets me in the mood to study. So um, that being said, <laughs> they didn't have any so I picked up one and Plum Bobs was like, Plum Bobs is my boyfriend if you don't know. And he was like, why don't you pick up several? <laughs> we spent like six euros on candles, which isn't a lot, but we got it from like the cheaper candle store. But I got like 150 candles, seriously. Okay, that's an exaggeration. Maybe 100. <laughs> I did get a lot. I don't know. How many comes in? Okay, like 75. That's still a lot of scented candles, like, especially for six euros. And he got a big candle as well because his wasn't scented though. He just got a candle. Jealous. <laughs> no, it's fine. Um, so yeah, like this place is very orange. <laughs> There's no computer, but you guys could just get a laptop and work from a chair or something or the ground. It's not really a big deal. Um, but yeah, this is definitely a house for me. <laughs> And uh, at the end, we go through the debug menu. I put a car in and a remote, and I add like a little table under the, uh, the what you call it, uh, TV. And it's all functional. I, again, I don't know about the litter box because I didn't have a cat um, on my playtest, but honestly, it doesn't really matter that much, I think. Um, but I'm just adding little touches now, and I really, really like it. I want to live here so badly. I mean, I wouldn't be able to do YouTube if I lived here because I'd have nowhere to do YouTube, but details, minor, minor details, right? So it's Gardner's Dream Home, and I put gardening books here because it's a Gardner's Dream Home, and some flowers because I like flowers and plants. You can't have too many plants, guys. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, so that's a thing. Um, but if you guys didn't know, I mentioned it earlier, we have a uh, Discord and on Twitch and stuff, and you could become a busy bee too if you uh, go over there. <laughs> They're linked down in the description if you are interested. Um, so that's a thing. <laughs> that's it for now, guys. I hope you liked the video, and if you did, let me know in the comments, and show your support by tapping the like button and subscribe for more builds. If you'd like this build in your game, it is up on the gallery under my username, so come up.